Hi, Next to Rap Neighbors, Mario here again. How are you? You know, every solution I find out there isn't exactly a great solution. And uh, this is uh, one of those examples of the solution just being a really bad idea. Um, I wear glasses, as many of you, you do, and uh, actually that's 55% of Canadians wear glasses. So that's an awful lot of us. And of course, with time, your prescription changes and you have to go and get, uh, get new lenses and kind of go through the whole, the whole setup once again, which is expensive and, uh, and you know, somewhat time consuming, I guess. But, you know, uh, for years, there's been a product out there called tunable glasses or adjustable glasses. And they haven't been uh, particularly good quality. The ones that you might uh, see is usually in the, uh, in the Walmart aisle or uh, the you saw it on TV store and they, they look like you're wearing a pair of uh, clear welding glasses with huge dials on the side but you have to try to tune your vision in you know they run 20 30 dollars kind of thing and they really are garbage I mean they're horrid I tried a pair once so I went on the hunt for the best tunable glasses and uh, there's precious little out there so I came across a company called Voy the OY glasses and I started to read their marketing material and they're talking about you know a uh, nano precision tuning you know uh, they have a, a, a good quality uh, frame to hold the lens um, you know it just seemed like it was the type of product I might be interested in uh, they're a unisex design apparently so anybody can wear them and uh, you know here we go so I tried to find a review and there wasn't a single review about this product anywhere which got me to thinking so one of two things nobody's bothered to take the time to do a review or these things are so bad nobody wants to do a review so I decided I would try it uh, by the time they got here they cost me 100 uh, Canadian dollars and uh, I, I think it's uh, prudent for me to show you what you get for your hundred dollars so you can avoid making the same mistake so let's take a look at what the product looks like first the case is a nice sturdy case of course it's an attractive coloring um, the glasses are thick have a look at them I think they need to be thick because in order to turn the lenses uh, in order to focus you'll have to have some room for that to happen so of course these are going to be considerably thicker than any product that you've you know you've purchased as glasses in the past they feel cheap they feel uh, quite light they don't feel like a sturdy product to me uh, the biggest issue I have with these is these tuning dials. You should be able to turn one or the other and adjust your focus accordingly so that you can see. Um, what I find is turning them is really hit and miss. Uh, the dials jump around a lot while you actually do the turning. I can't find a sweet spot and there's almost some kind of a grinding noise on one of them that I can feel uh, when I do turn it. So I don't know if this is bad quality control or if this is the way all of them are. Ideally, they should have probably had a wheel that when you turn it, it clicks to the next position uh, and continues to click as you try to focus. It would probably help keep the dial in place a little bit. This is extremely difficult to, uh, to find the sweet spot for your focus. Uh, these lenses reflect a lot and it's probably because they're a type of a plastic. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of looking at bubbles from the Trailer Park Boys. Um, you don't have quite the Coke bottom bottle, bottle eyes uh, that bubbles would have, but believe me, when you put them on, you do, uh, you do look a little strange on them. So let's try them on and see what, uh, what they look like from there. So they're unisex design, which means you know, men and women can, uh, can wear the product, and that's terrific. So let's see what they look like. So here we are, we kind of look a little bit like a Clark Kent setup, and we're gonna slide those on. And my oh my oh my, there is not a person alive that wouldn't find these sexy. You shall go to the ball tonight. My recommendation to you is to save your money. These things aren't worth $30 to be honest with you. You're not going to get much better results with a pair of cheap you saw it on TV glasses. And thanks for watching and uh, have a good day. We'll see you around the neighborhood. Take care.